Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to EFL Championship Predictions. There are some more massive championship games coming your way this weekend. And me and Sophie, we are back predicting them. Massive games this week. Yeah, I mean, there's some big games on the Monday. Even bigger games this weekend. There is so much to play for. Guys, before we get into the video, you know the drill. Make sure to quickly hit the thumbs up button. Set us a like target today, Sophie. Uh, 1,600. Oof, it's a big one, but we have done it for the last two championship videos. Make sure to drop a like. 1,600 likes would be massively appreciated. Make sure to subscribe while you are there. We're closing in on 62,000 subscribers now. It's free to subscribe, so make sure to do so if you support a championship team. And the score's on the door, Sophie. I beat you again. I'm running away with it. Yeah, you are. It's just boring at this point. To be fair to you, you are beating me in the Premier League predictions, but in the championship predictions, I'm, I'm beating you quite... Quite, quite convincingly. Yeah. Quite convincingly. Let's get into some more predictions, Sophie. Let's start with Friday night's game as we go to a big relegation matchup at the New York Stadium. It's Rotherham United versus Plymouth Argyle, and it could be a League One fixture next season. Now, Sophie, let's give Rotherham United some credit... I'm not being patronising, but they did get a win, which is something that the club needed. I mean, it gives them a bit of positivity, well, and, it, and it's kept them from going down just exactly. yet. Yeah, but it just delays the inevitable, doesn't it? Yes, if we are being realistic, Rotherham United's chances of staying up this season are so Absolutely. slim. Mm. They're so slim that it's not realistic, it's not on. But they can delay it for another week if they win this one and the results go their way. Plymouth, Sophie, to be honest, Plymouth won't be coming here in great confidence, but they have now sacked Ian Foster, and to be honest, Sophie, it can only be a good thing, because mm -hmm. they were playing so bad, really, and the results were so bad, that it couldn't have got any, it can't get any worse. No, all their fans wanted him out, so I think they'll be happy now that he is. So yes, it's a difficult one. It's Rotherham, who don't tend to win many games, they are usually slightly better at home, against Plymouth, who are also slightly better at home, but have more to play for, you'd imagine, because their chances of staying up are more realistic. Mm -hmm. As I say, if Rotherham win, it just delays the inevitable, but all it would do realistically in the grand scheme of things is pull Plymouth down with them, potentially. Mm. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go for a no-manager bounce. I don't know if they will have a new manager by this one, but they might have a new interim manager who can get a new interim manager bounce. Uh, Rotherham 1, Plymouth 2. Yeah, I'm going to back Plymouth win as well. I think now the players, the fans should all be happy that the manager's gone because they were playing very, very poorly. Rotherham, they don't really have much to play for, but sometimes that gives the teams the freedom to play good football and get a result like they did on Monday. But I think their look's running out and Plymouth are going to get the win for me. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. As we said with Rotherham United... We didn't predict them to win last week, so fair play to them. And if they win this week, then fair play to them again. Yeah. But it just does seem like it's delaying the inevitable. Um, as for Plymouth, Sophie, if they can't win this game, then the pressure really is on. Yeah. On to the next one, Sophie. This is massive. It's at Carrow Road. It's Norwich City versus Ipswich Town, Sophie. And, you know, set aside that it's a big East Anglian derby, of course, it's got a lot riding on it as yeah. well. Norwich City need to hang on to sixth place and Ipswich Town just keep going. Ipswich Town still in the top two, but still top of the league. I know. They are doing so well and every time you think, oh, is it just, is, is it, is, are things going to just go against them now? No, they keep going and like I say, what a story it would be if they can stay in that top two. This is, this is probably one of their trickiest games left mm. um, and it's probably Norwich's trickiest game left. It's, it's really difficult. What you've got to weigh up here, Sophie, is the fact that Ipswich don't tend to beat Norwich. Norwich tend to do pretty well against Ipswich. Yeah, yeah. But Ipswich don't seem to be losing many games mm. this season. So if you put that together, I might go for the same result when these two played at Portman Road, which was a Desmond. Norwich 2, Ipswich 2. I just... I'm yeah. very wary of going for either team here, Sophie. I think it might be a draw. <sighs> I'm very, very heavily leaning towards a draw as well, just because earlier on in the season I thought Ipswich would do it at home, and a lot of Norwich fans were saying, no, no, their record against us isn't very good in the derbies. I thought, yeah, but their form. Sometimes form does go out the window in a derby. Saying that, 
I'm going to go for the more informed team just because of how they're doing it at the moment, just turning it around. Saying that, both teams do need the three points, so I can see why you're going for a draw and a few goals. But I'm going to back the track, boys. They're going to get a 2 1 win. Oh, yeah, and I think it'll be dramatic in the late stages again, but. Wow. And like I say, that would be massive in the context of the playoff race and the automatic promotion race. Um, usually when Norwich play at Switch, I don't really have a preference. I think they're both decent clubs. But on this, on this occasion, obviously, we, we want, want Ipswich, we to, want win. Ipswich yeah. to win because we're trying to catch Norwich. So um, good luck to both teams, but we will see how that one good plays luck. out. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Ewood Park. It's Blackburn Rovers versus Southampton, Sophie. Um, let's start with Blackburn. 5-1 at Sunderland. Where did that come from, by the way? They just... Blackburn. They turned up. Well, <laughs> he did in Sunderland, yeah. That was just an absolutely insane result. Like, they were putting the game to bed early doors. And then they did allow Sunderland in with one goal and then just, again, put them to bed. It was just unreal. Didn't see that one happening. Yeah. Out of the teams in the bottom end of the table, Blackburn have got one of the hardest run-ins they've got some really difficult games coming and this one is a difficult one as well mm. but that win against Sunderland has just made me think I think I think they're okay mm -hmm. um I have thought that for a little while actually but yeah it really emphasized that they've got a good chance of staying up mm. they take on Southampton Sophie who to be honest to have any chance of making the top two probably have to win all of their games now yeah I know you can't technically write them off but I am I'm writing them off the top two now yeah yeah, it's it's looking too hard. I'm going to go for a draw. I think Blackburn are going to get a couple goals. Southampton, obviously, a good team as well. 2-2, two, two, again. I'm actually going for a draw as well. I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. I wouldn't be surprised now if Southampton turn up and beat them 4-0. And you'd be like, ah, that was the Blackburn from a couple of weeks ago. But you just can't tell with the championship, clearly, because I'm not doing too well. But I'm back in a 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, based on how those two performed in their last games, I think they'll be goals. I think they'll be goals. Yeah. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to South Wales. It's Cardiff City versus Hull City. Let's start with Cardiff, Sophie. Well done oh, to them for yeah. rocking up to the CBS and snatching three points with two own goals. Yeah. That's six points they took of us. I know. It is absolutely ridiculous this season. They were on about like signing Liam Kitchen as their striker, and do you know what? You can have him. Yeah. No, I'm really joking. I like him, really. We're joking, yeah. Um, fair play to Cardiff. Not on just taking six points off Coventry, but they've been a lot better than I thought they would be this, well, this season. This season as a whole, yeah. They've had a good season, I think. The playoffs might be a little bit out of reach, but yeah. let's see. If they win this game, we'll see what happens in the other results. As for Hull City, Sophie, they're kind of in a similar position. They have still got a better chance because they've got a couple more points and a game in hand. Mm -hmm. But if Hull City wants to make the playoffs, they've got to win this game. Um, Hull City have lost their last two, to be honest, Sophie. Yeah. I'm going to go for Cardiff. I am as well. I'm going to go Cardiff 2-1. I don't know what's happened to Hull. They, they mm. played Leeds last week, which is definitely a difficult game, but Hull have to win this. A draw's not good enough for Hull, but I'm not even giving them that. I reckon Cardiff 2-1. Yeah, I mean, Cardiff stood in our way on Monday, and I'm hoping they do the same against Hull, to be honest. I'll be backing you at the weekend. Uh, I actually think they're capable of getting a win. Hull haven't looked as good recently, and you're thinking, is the pressure getting to them a little bit? There was almost that expectation that they should be finishing around fifth or sixth. So I don't know if the pressure is getting to some of the players and affecting their performances, and I think it could be the same against Cardiff. So 2-1 for me as well. Yeah, fair play to Cardiff. Um, not a lot between Cardiff and Hull in the table. No. Like I say, both of them would have to go on really good runs to make the playoffs now. But yeah, there we go. We're going for Cardiff. Share your thoughts if you're a Bluebird or a Tigers fan. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to the CBS. It's Coventry City versus Leeds United. Um, this is going to be difficult, Sophie. I have said for all season that I think Leeds United are going to win the league. I still think they will. They are probably the team I'm most wary of coming up against. Mm. I've never celebrated a draw so much in my life yeah. when we got a draw at their place. I know. They were scary. They yeah. were, they really had us on the ropes. I thought Coventry played really well when we went to their place. We executed our get game plan <clears throat> really, really well. Just frustrate them. Yeah. Limit them. And if we're going to get anything off them this time, we have Same to be again. so on it and not scoring own goals. Like, you can just give them yeah, away. Yeah, ideally not. <sighs> 
I don't know. The thing is with Coventry, we are a good team. Mm -hmm. We are right in the mix to make the playoffs, and we've taken points off decent teams this season. We've drew with Leeds, we've drew with Southampton, we've beaten Leicester, we've yeah. beaten Wolves from the Premier League. Um... But Leeds United, the position they're in, will not be handing out points for fun. Mm -hmm. It's the business end of the season now, Sophie. And Coventry are going to have to go 100% just to get a draw. 110% um, to even try and get a win. I I'm, I'm think I'm going to go for a draw. I was really disappointed on Monday. Yeah. Coventry were not good enough against Cardiff. It was really spineless. And if we put in a performance like that, Leeds get will battered. be at 4-0. Yeah. I think there could be a reaction. Leeds United are fantastic. I've said they're going to win the league. They smashed Hull 3-1. And what a goal by Dan James from the from halfway line. line. Yeah. Um, but I reckon Coventry might be able to frustrate Leeds, especially being at home here. 1-1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. We've done it before. I'm hoping we can do it again. This is two teams that need a win or actually need not lose. Leeds... We'll obviously be coming here for the win. They're very, very good attacking. And when we played them earlier on in the season, every time they went forward, you thought, oh, it's going to be a goal. And it's just so horrible to watch when you're the other team. They're so good. It's frightening. And I think it could be the same again. We just need to frustrate them. I'm not saying that as the home side, you should set up for a draw. I do think we should go out to attack. But the main aim here is to not lose if we're looking for the playoffs. And I think we are capable of getting a draw. <laughs> I'll snatch your hand off for it now. Yeah. And I suppose on top of that, both Coventry and Leeds United fans will be watching the early kickoff, hoping that both Norwich and Ipswich lose. Um, <laughs> is a draw good enough for Coventry or Leeds? It's almost a little bit disastrous to be losing. So hmm. a draw is OK, but ideally both teams need the win. Coventry and Leeds United fans, share your thoughts. Um, we predicted Leeds to win when it was at Ellen Road and we were surprised when we got a draw. Yeah. So. I think we could get a draw, but I'm very wary, I must yeah. say. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Huddersfield Town versus Millwall. Big relegation six-pointer. Fair play to Huddersfield. They got a draw at Stoke, which is better than losing. I'm not trying to patronise them here, Sophie, but that... You, if you're in the bottom three, don't let the teams get away from you. Yes. Just make sure you don't lose. Mm -hmm. And I think draws here and there aren't bad, but they need to get a win in mm -hmm. this one. And I think they will. I'm going to back them to beat Millwall, okay. who went away to Rotherham and lost. Yeah. I. Mm, it's not going to be easy. Millwall have been really good under Neil Harris, but mm. I think Huddersfield are due a win. I'm going to go 1 0 to the Terriers. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for another 1 1 draw. Huddersfield are very drawy this season. That has been their downfall, but right now it's another point on the board. And against Millwall, who'll be wanting a reaction after the Rotherham game, because I don't think anyone expected that. So they'll be setting out for the win here. And I think Huddersfield might actually frustrate them. So 1-1 one, one for me. Yeah, but a draw's better for Millwall, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Given that Huddersfield are at home and they need to close the win, gap. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so tight down at the bottom. Share your thoughts if you're a Huddersfield or a Millwall fan, of course. On to the next one, Sophie. We've got a Midlands derby here as Leicester City host Birmingham City. They've already played at the King Power this season in the FA Cup. And last week, neither of us predicted them to win. And they both won. Yeah, and I felt so dirty cheering for them as well, but yeah, the whole ground did. Yeah, Leicester City. I mean, we did we did cheer <laughs> your goals against yeah. Norwich. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty um, yeah, obviously this one doesn't really mean so much to us because Leicester and Birmingham aren't anywhere near us in the table, but yeah. um, Leicester were playing Norwich last week, and yeah, I'm, ha I'm, yeah. I'm, ha I'm happy they won, but a good mm -hmm. win. They came it from was. behind. Yeah, and I think they needed that to um, boost get the, the confidence. confidence as well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Their confidence should be high, mm -hmm. and they'll look at this as winnable. As, as for Birmingham, Sophie, it was a really Gary Rowett win against Preston. Yeah, a 1 0. And, and three points. Three points, exactly. It doesn't matter about the performance, it's about the points. They'll come here knowing that it's not a free hit, but it's very difficult and yeah. there's more winnable games coming after this. So, Birmingham fans, you won the, the winnable game, I suppose. This one... Damage limitations, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to say Birmingham haven't got a chance, but... Slim chance. Yeah, I'm going to go Leicester 2 0, but yeah. what I'd say is I still think Birmingham are staying up. I've said that already this season, yeah. haven't I? Yeah, I'm weirdly enough going for the exact same scoreline. I think Leicester will keep a clean sheet, which would be good for them. Um, and I think they're more than capable of putting a couple past Birmingham. I was tempted to say 3 0 as well, and I thought Ooh. actually 
Birmingham have looked a little bit more solid. They're not like shipping goals at this point. But for me, just 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I shouldn't ask who's going to get top two out of Leicester, Leeds and Ipswich because it's too close, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to give you an answer. Ah, maybe next week I'll get a... Right, on to the next one, Sophie. It's at the Riverside. It's Middlesbrough versus Swansea City. Now, Middlesbrough, they are one of the form teams in the division and... Mm -hmm. Three, four weeks ago, it looked like they couldn't make the playoffs. Now, after Easter Monday, they might still be in it. It's going to be difficult. Like, yeah. It's going to be difficult. But they're, what, five points off the playoffs? So, you know, they've overtaken Hull City now. Mm. They've not got a game in hand like Coventry, Preston and Hull do. Exactly. But they come into this in good form. And I think Swansea at home is winnable. In the last video, we spoke about Swansea hosting QPR. I predicted QPR to win 1-0. Yeah, good uh, shout. I had a Swansea fan telling me off for not predicting them to win. Look, guys, if you, if you don't like our predictions, that's fair enough. But... Just comment your predictions down below. There's no point whinging about it. I don't look at your predictions and tell you off for not predicting Coventry to win. It's just, you know... It's, it's just one of them, it's, isn't it? It's a Take bit of with fun. a pinch of salt, yeah. It's a bit of fun. And to be honest, I am going to back Swansea to lose again. <laughs> not, <laughs> not because I've got a problem with them, but let's no. be honest, Sophie, they've kind of fizzled out a little bit, they haven't have. they? It's not been a great season, let's be real. Yeah, I think they'll give Middlesbrough a good game, but Middlesbrough mm. to win this for me. They're in good form. 2-1 to Middlesbrough. I think clean sheet, 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil Middlesbrough, they've been looking good. I do I do think playoffs might be a bit of a stretch, but as you say, you can't actually count them out right now. And the form they're in, you can't write them off, but it just seems a bit of a stretch. And Swansea, as we just said, not been having a great season, and I think this game might sum it up. 2-0 Middlesbrough. 2-0 Middlesbrough. So you still think they might make the playoffs? Well, there's a chance. I don't, I don't actually think they'll do it, but there is a chance. Yeah. Let's just see where they are if they keep winning. Yeah. On to the next one. This is massive. Down to Loftus Road or the Key and Prince Foundation. QPR versus Sheffield Wednesday. These two have been Rotherham United's company this season in the bottom three. QPR and Sheffield Wednesday have been in the bottom three for most of the season, haven't they? Mm -hmm. But they've both been performing great escapes. The difference is QPR's is a bit better. Yeah. Uh, I still think they can both get out... But QPR right now, it looks like they really are nearly safe. Thank uh, good form. If they win one more game, I think that's it for me. They're on 46 points. Yeah. I think be. QPR are nearly there. Um, so, yeah, I think QPR will look at this and think, let's win this one and we're, we're nearly home and dry. Yeah. Because they have got some difficult games coming. They've still got to play Leeds and Coventry. As for Sheffield Wednesday, Sophie... They're still only touching distance away from getting out of the bottom three, but they're yeah. just not quite getting that result to to take them there. Mm. They haven't picked up a win since returning from the international break, albeit it's only been two games. Yeah. I still think they might do it, but this is going to be difficult. And as I say, I think both teams have a good chance of staying up. QPR's looks a bit better. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I'm I'm tempted to go for QPR, but mm. because I've been a defender of Sheffield Wednesday this season, I will give them a draw. Oh, okay. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think Sheffield Wednesday need to come into this like it's a must not lose, which could mean they set up for a draw, so it could well be a draw, and I see why you're backing that, but I just can't go against QPR at the moment. It's just whether I want to say 1-0 or 2-1. I'm going to say 2-1. Yep. I do think they'll do it, but a tight game, quite edgy, but I feel like right now I can't go against them. Yeah. Sifuentes has proved to be a really good manager. Yeah. Um, and Steve Cook, he's on fire. And as for Sheffield Wednesday, Danny Roll has had them on a roll. <laughs> they just need one more push, don't yeah. they? There's a few games left. You've just got to put everything you've got left into trying to stay up now because you've got a chance. But there you go. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Stoke City versus West Bromwich Albion. Mm. Um, this is an interesting one. West Brom come into this as favourites, of course, but I was looking at the record between these two. In their last 10 meetings, two draws and four wins for each team. Ooh, very evenly matched then. Very evenly matched. Um, as I say, West Brom slight favourites, but a good return from the international break for Stoke City, Sophie. Four points on the board, a, yeah. a win and a draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bad return at all. Yeah, I mean, during the international break, I challenged myself to predict two teams to be relegated with Rotherham. I picked Huddersfield, who I still think could go down, 
but I also picked Stoke and at the moment I would say I don't really fancy that anymore so well done Stoke City mm -hmm. I think you've got a chance and I'm yeah. actually going to back you to get something here mm. for the third week in a row I'm going to go for West Brom to draw it's worked for the last two weeks <laughs> I'm going for it again I don't ever back West Brom to lose to be honest because they are a good team but they just keep drawing, which yeah. is leaving fifth place open for now. Mm -hmm. I still think they're probably going to get it, so. but they're not getting that next win yet. One thing I will say is Furlong's goal in the last game, mm -hmm. cracking strike. Yeah. I'm going to go Stoke 1, West Brom 1. Yeah, it's funny you say that because in recent weeks I keep back in the baggies and it's not actually paying off for me. So their form has taken a bit of a hit and I think it could well be another draw. I don't think they'll drop out of fifth fifth spot to be honest I think that's pretty secure but it's not absolute at the moment so they really do need a win but I do feel like Stoke are going to frustrate them and I agree with your scoreline 1-1 one, one. yeah Stoke City nearly safe they're getting yeah. the points together West Brom nearly in fifth a draw wouldn't confirm either no. but it'd both get them a little bit closer wouldn't it yeah, yeah it seems like West Brom have been a good team this season but mm -hmm. they're just starting to tease Norwich and Coventry like yeah. look we're dropping points you can catch us yeah. if you want <laughs> But I think they'll still do it. Thanks. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to the Stadium of Light, where it is Sunderland versus Bristol City. Now, to the Sunderland fans, we did have a Sunderland fan last week saying, why are you not backing us to win when we predicted them to draw with Blackburn? Um, should, should have backed you to lose then. Yeah, they, they lost 5-1. It wasn't good. No. It wasn't good. Um, as for Bristol City, Sophie, two wins from two after the international break. They've got to be thinking we can make it three wins from three here. Yeah. It's so hard, isn't it? Because mm. sometimes I think to myself, Sunderland have got all those fans there. Surely they can't be that pathetic in front of them. Oh, I'm going to give them a draw. Okay. I'm going to give them a draw. I think if Bristol City had something a little bit more to play for, maybe I'd lean towards them. But both of these teams are going to finish in the middle of the table. Um, Bristol City are the favourites, but I'm going to go 1-1. I think there needs to be a statement from Sunderland after their last game because that was just embarrassing, wasn't it? No one really seen that coming. And I think the Sunderland fans will want a reaction. They'll want a win. I don't think they're going to be content with a draw at home. I'm actually going to back Bristol City. I'm yeah. going to get. I'm going to back them to get a two-one win. Yeah, that's yeah. not a massive surprise when you look at the form well, table. Yeah, I guess so not. Sunderland are kind of falling apart. They are, but as we say, they've got they've got nothing to play for now. Yeah, they're on autopilot. Both of these teams need to get to the summer, but ending the season as well as you can is always something you should try and do. Yeah. On to the final one then, Sophie. It could be a tasty game at Vicarage Road. Watford versus Preston North End. Um, I think this one's going to have goals. If I remember correctly, I think Watford ran riot at Deepdale earlier this season. Um, do you know what? Watford have picked up two 2-2 two, two draws mm -hmm. against West Brom and Leeds since the international break's finished and yeah. that's pretty good it is but they went 2-0 up against um west brom didn't they so for it to end 2-2 not great yeah and they were leading against leeds well. twice yeah. um so yeah they've i suppose they've thrown it away but they're still decent return for yeah. a team that's not got a lot to play for to mm. give those two a good game is really good as for preston sophie they won and then they lost since returning from the international break um, Preston have got more to play for, but yeah. Watford keep becoming a bit of a hindrance to teams. I'm mm. going to go for another Watford 2-2 two -two draw. Yeah, obviously we're <clears> going to want Watford to get something from this because Preston are right on our tails, but I do see Preston doing it annoyingly. I'm well, going to back them to win 2-1. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I think so, Preston have got a few injuries though, haven't they? Uh, they have got a few injuries, but... Yeah, we'll see. I think they could put in a good performance here. They're fighting, aren't they, for the playoffs? Yeah, and I, I still think they could make it. Yeah, there you go then, guys. That wraps up Championship Predictions for another week. And as I say, there are some massive games this week. Share your thoughts down in the comments. Predictions, get them in. Uh, make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. It's free to do that. And we're going for 1,600. And make sure to subscribe as well. We'll be back for Premier League predictions tomorrow, which includes some big games like Liverpool going away to Manchester United. We will see you in the next one. Peace out.